Oh, hi there, you're a nurse. Okay, let's get started. Trying to guess what objects stuck up someone's bum when they walk into the emergency department. N95 mask, having a rash from the N95 mask, washing your hands. Dermatitis from washing your hands. Hearing the phrase, I'm a private patient. Not being able to find the bladder scanner. Trying to get out of working Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Having to work Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Hearing the patient call bell. Tending to the patient call bell. Finally getting a moment to yourself and hearing the patient call bell. About to go on your break and eat your chocolate bar when you hear the patient call bell. Waking up in the middle of the night and thinking you've heard the patient call bell. Wanting to find the person who invented the patient call bell and stick it where the sun don't shine. Hiding your chocolate bar in the break room so no one steals it. Looking forward to your break so you can eat your chocolate bar you hid in the break room so no one steals it. Having to clean a bedpan before you go on your break to eat your chocolate bar. Finally getting to eat your chocolate bar. Wondering if the brown stain on your shirt is either poo or chocolate. Having to do the smell test to find out. Definitely poo. Seeing acronyms on number plates and thinking of work. Being able to spot a fresh nurse on the ward because they're wearing a bum bag with all their things in it. A lunch break. Oh no. Toilet break. Oh no. A moment to yourself. No. Not being asked to do overtime at the end of a shift. Oh no. Considering wearing an incontinence pad because you know you're not going to be out of pee for the whole shift. Developing a bladder like a camel. A mild disdain for radiographers who just mess up a patient's bed and then leave. Getting told by a patient they have a high pain threshold. whoop de doo Talking about gross things with your colleagues. Having a nice night out with your colleagues and then ending up talking about something gross. Talking about gross things at other social functions and then realising that you're at a social function and not at work and that people actually don't talk about gross things and the gross things are actually really gross. Not panicking because everyone's still breathing. Never believing your partner's sick and just saying, just take some Panadol, you'll be fine. Decorative name badges. Bringing a pen to work and then having it stolen. Having to steal a pen. Getting the pen that you've stolen re-stolen off you by a doctor. Thinking to yourself, wow, I've had this pen for a couple of hours. I hope I don't lose this one and then accidentally leaving it in an isolation room and then not wanting to go back in to retrieve it. So you have to steal another pen. A pen with four colours that works. Oh no. When you get home from your shift, you're finding all the pens that you thought you'd lost. Crocs and socks. Burks and socks. Generally quiet shoes. A morning coffee on your way to work. A coffee from the cafe. Trying to get a coffee from the cafe downstairs, but it's closed because it's 2 a.m. so you have to settle for instant coffee. Convincing yourself that instant coffee is actually good at 2 a.m. Resorting to Red Bull. Accidentally taking home alcohol wipes. Paracetamol. Surgical scissors. Tape. A hand over sheet that you'll have to burn to protect confidentiality. Nursing someone quite famous but not being able to say anything because of confidentiality. A double shift because you're understaffed. Attending the call bell for a patient who can't reach something when they can clearly reach something. Old men hitting on you because you're a nurse. Old ladies telling you about their 55 year old son who still lives at home, who's a real catch. Cleaning up after patients who were told to fast before surgery but clearly didn't. Asking the ward to take your ED patient after you've already sent them. Asking your patient to straighten their drip arm. Moderate to high vein fetish. Spotting good veins out in public and thinking, I could draw blood out of that one. The phrase, have you opened your bowels today? Knowing the specific jangle of your co-workers cards and keys as they walk. Needing to check your roster to go to any type of social event. And finally being overworked, underpaid and saving people's lives. Okay, thank you nurse, bye. You left your pen. Next. Oh, millennials. Yes, we have oat milk.